start evaluating Then my final intuition is that you wishing to come up Or just come up We used to beefing over dirt, fuck beefing over dirt Niggas dying, motherfucker, double up, With so many artists in the game, how do you stay relevant without oversaturating your market? Without oversaturating your market? Um, it's about, you know, I always say quality over quantity. You know, there's a lot of people out there, a lot of artists out there just constantly put out music, but it don't be 100% their best music, and I know because I was one of them, just always putting out my throwaway music in order to. I'm actually giving the game right now, I shouldn't even be saying this part. You gotta put out the shit that you feel like you need to say in order to win. You can't go out and put out your old shit and shit that you don't think is good enough. Because at the end of the day, you always remember by the last record you put out. So if that last record is mediocre, you don't give a fuck about what you put out before that. You known for that. So me, I feel like I'm gonna put the music out, it's gonna be my best music, I'm gonna continue to make the best music, and it's not gonna be a whole bunch of it oversaturating the market. It's gonna be just enough, and it's gonna be quality. You know, when you say the future of the West Coast, you know, yeah. that's, that's a whole lot of weight because you think of the legends like Snoop, you know, Dre, these people that we looked up to for years, so. But then to say that, I think we are the future, you know. Dom Kennedy, Black Hippie, Schoolboy Q, Soul J, Rock, Nipsey. We always been here. We just got the talent and it's finally getting looked at. And I, I, if I'm at the forefront, you know, to get us the recognition we deserve, then so be it. I'm going to take it there. So, uh, when do you plan on dropping uh, your next project? Um, I know the debut album 2012. I don't know if I'm gonna do something before that. I have a lot of music in the works and in, in the cut that I can drop, but I'm just gonna, you know, filter out Section 80 for a little bit longer. Just make sure that message spread as long as possible and continue to move like that, do these shows and touch with people. I be sure to be all I can be. When I listen to your music, I get like this kind of Afrocentric vibe. Yeah. Uh, so why, why do you choose to keep figure, figures like Malcolm and Martin and the Panthers like uh, in your music? You know, these people that's bigger than me, that's bigger than you know, people that we came up with. You know, our generation, they bigger than our generation because without them, we wouldn't be here. So if order for, if I want to keep my name alive years down the line when I'm gone, I have to keep you know the people that made it possible for me names alive. Dig that, so it's just basically paying homage and, and paying respect, you know, to the people that allow me to walk these streets and be able to make the type of music I want to make without it being criticism, criticized, or put in jail. Yeah. What do you think uh, separates you from other artists? I really don't, you know, just can't speak on other artists or what they do. I don't point out their, you know, negatives. Yeah. I just know what I do. You know, I'm Kendrick Lamar. It's only one Kendrick Lamar. That's what separates me from other artists. You know. I don't, I don't know. Can you talk uh, a little about the show tonight? Like how, like the vibes, the feeling, you know? You know, a lot of energy. It's my second time out here and they topped the first time, so I'm gonna keep coming. Yo, what's going on? It's Kenny Lamar shouting out Ron Radio. All day play FM. Dig that. Y'all tune in they got that real shit. Top dog, high power. I'm gone. <laughs>